Hey, what's up guys? It's Lemo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a hot topic, skill-based matchmaking, SBMM, ladies and gentlemen, because guys, for the past two years, I've been doing Call of Duty content creation since I've joined the content realm for Call of Duty. I've seen and heard a lot of things from players, creators, former devs, former players, all that stuff. And the biggest topic that I've always seen everyone spin around and talk about is skill-based matchmaking, man. And for the last year or so, the fact that Activision even made a few documents talking about skill-based matching and, and why they actually use it and, you know, explain it. The fact that there was so much outcry to the point where they had to respond to it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I honestly think at this point in the Call of Duty world and life cycle, whatever you want to call it, okay? At this point in Call of Duty, skill-based matchmaking is not going anywhere, okay? And at this point, the people who are complaining about, you know, it being removed, we're all on the same page. We want to remove, but I, I, honestly, in this point, I do believe that there has to be an outside factor that's bigger than the Call of Duty community to actually have skill-based matching and remove. And what I mean by that is the fact that there's something, you know, a system or a law that prevents it, which I don't think it's going to happen because, you know, games may have been doing it for years now, right? And I'm going to be honest, man. There's no real reason for Activision and or anybody who's a part of this cycle with skill-based matchmaking that's making money off of it, the investors, Activision themselves. There's no real reason to actually change what they're doing. And I just think it's not going to go away because it makes, you know, Activision a lot of money, makes the investors of Activision a lot of money. And they literally have proof that it keeps the player base alive, which was honestly a problem for old Call of Duties, especially when they had the uh, supply drop system, you know, but... I honestly do believe that skill-based matchmaking is not going anywhere at this point for the next 5, 10, maybe 15, 20 years because of the fact that there's no higher or bigger power holding Activision back to publish and upload the game in certain countries, okay? So you might be wondering, what the fuck do you mean, Ethan, okay? What the fuck do you mean, Limbo, okay? What are you on right now? I did a couple things on stream a couple weeks ago talking about why supply drops won't be a thing anymore at all within gaming at all outside of like mobile gaming and it's the fact that activision's you know stock price before model for 2019 when they introduced the battle pass was at like 50 bucks and since they've switched over to the battle pass system they are now at 90 dollars, 94 dollars for their stock price which is an incredible increase in about like five six years right but if you look at it now the fact that they've been defending skill-based matchmaking for so long and they made like two or three documents and statements about skill-based matchmaking and they, they gave us numbers that they talked about and all that stuff. That just shows to me that, you know, Activision won't be removing skill-based matchmaking at all. And there's only really two things that can be done. One, you either adapt and get better, right? And you barely complain about it and you partied up with people. Or two, you manipulate it, right? And you could do it. You can manipulate the system all you want, but at least be honest about it, okay? But, you know, I just feel like the topic about SBMM, you know, being removed, it's such a, a being down topic, right? Because we all know everyone that plays Call of Duty, even as a casual, you know, once a month or every single day, we all want skill-based matchmaking removed. But the fact is now is that we have to accept that they're not going to remove it at all for the, for the longest time. I'm going to be honest, bro. There's no real reason for them to remove it unless there's someone that's above the Call of Duty community, that's above Activision, that, you know, puts in something into play where it's like, okay, you are, you know, having this system in and without the player not, you know, knowing about it, right? Because before, like I just said with Supply Drops, every time Activision would make a new Call of Duty and try to publish it and, you know, get it out there in other countries, you know, if countries did not like the Supply Drop system, they would either have to remove it so they lose income and revenue and or they would literally have to explain their system and go through trials and tribulations just to get the game published in that one country. And the fact that no country has really, you know, tried to stop and or there's no law to really like, question if skill-based matchmaking is ethically right for the player and the person or anything like that, right? There's, you know, I'm gonna be honest, there's no real gambling system for skill-based matchmaking, right? But there's nothing holding Activision back from publishing Call of Duty and potentially having a loss of revenue. So it really makes no sense for them to remove skill-based matchmaking. If one, the player count and the, you know, the amount of players is rising and consistent and at a good growth, that's good. 
And the fact that it's making them money and their investors money and everyone's happy, why would they remove it at this point? And I'm not going to lie. The only thing that they could really do is tone it down and or give us game modes that do not have skill-based matchmaking. And, and it's really just giving players two options to really deal with skill-based matchmaking. Either adapt and get better and or party up with friends or people that you meet through Discord, through Reddit, through social media, right? And or you just manipulate it in two box or VPN or do any of that. And I'm not going to lie. If you do manipulate the matchmaking system, at least be honest about it. Do not hide it. Do not lie about it. Just say that you do it. You know, maybe you tell people that you met online like, oh, yeah, I got, you know, I reverse boosted into this lobby or I two boxed into this lobby. Right. If you're a content creator, just be honest about it. Don't hide your screen. Don't lie about doing it. Just do it. Nobody cares. People will respect you. But skill based matchmaking really puts the players in a hard position where. You either play alone and, you know, suffer from being good or somewhat good for your skill rating, your skill bracket, whatever you want to call it. And or you match up with other people that you're either above you and you get stomped on still or you get a mix of people. So there's a mixed pool of skill rating that, you know, to the point where, you know, this skill based matching cannot actually match make you guys and you guys just get random lobbies. But it's hard. It's hard to deal with SBMM at this point. And I honestly think that those are the only two things you can either party up and get better and or just manipulate the matchmaking system. But I don't know, man. I, I just think that at this point within the Call of Duty life cycle and what the community been trying to do for the past five years, like, I'm not going to lie. We've come a long way in the sense that we even got Activision to talk about skill-based matchmaking. But I don't think that the Call of Duty community alone will get Activision to the point where they will actually either remove or tone it down. I don't think that's ever going to happen. And especially after all the trials that they did, you know, that they talked about in the white paper. I don't think they're ever going to do any kind of trials for the longest time until there's another outcry from the community. But yeah, man, I don't know. I just hope at one point that people either accept that skill-based matchmaking will forever be a thing and, you know, either find something else to play, find, you know, people to play with and or get better and have more fun like that, right? And or they just, you know, find their fun in video games because, bro, I'm not going to lie, man, like a lot of the Call of Duty community just subjects themselves to playing one game and that game is Call of Duty. And then when they don't have fun, they don't play games like, bro, there's a ton of different, you know, single player games that are really good. If you want a multiplayer game, there's a ton of free to play multiplayer games that you can try out. There's a ton of different FPS games as well. That's not just like Call of Duty. Like you never know what is out there. And I feel like the fact that the Call of Duty community, a majority of them subjects themselves to one game and that one game being Call of Duty and they keep complaining about skill-based matchmaking and, they're, you know, they're not just improving or they're not doing anything to either avoid it. It's just causing them more stress than it should have, man. And at this point, for the last two years, I've been playing Call of Duty consistently and making content. It's either I grab someone to play with a real player, not my alt account and an account that I own that I, you know, operate, right? I grab a real player, a real squad and play with them and make videos with them and talk to them. And or I just deal with skill-based matchmaking and still become good. I keep my consistent skill, which I have been doing for the past two years, because for a majority of my videos up until now have literally been all by myself where I'm playing by myself or like one other person that's the same skill level as me. I just personally believe that skill based matchmaking is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, man. And people either have to stop complaining and just adapt and accept that it won't go anywhere and just party out with people or you go. I don't, I don't even know what to say for this route, but like you go the other route and manipulate the matchmaking system while being honest, man. But I don't know, dude. Like, let me know what you guys think of skill based matching at this point. Are you tired of hearing people complain about it being removed and or it being a thing? Because at this point, I'm not really tired of people saying that it should be removed. I'm just tired at the fact that there's other games to play that you guys could be playing. So stop complaining about Call of Duty and maybe play another for game and or find people to play with. There's a ton of people that want to play with each other. Okay. Especially in Call of Duty, man. If we can all subject ourselves to actually joining a discord server and or becoming friends and playing games whenever we're all on then that is perfectly fine you know what i'm saying i don't really get the conversation and argument that joining a friend that's lower skilled or higher skilled than you is two boxing that is a real legit person and you're not joining yourself on an alt smurf account that argument and conversation is stupid, but yeah, skill-based matching is not being removed anytime soon. You either get better, party up with people, and or find a way to, you know, a game mode like 10v10 to avoid it, 
Do whatever you need to do to have fun in Call of Duty, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys did. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. And let me know what your guys' thoughts on skill-based matchmaking are.